English Reading Practice, Exercise 31, Presentation Skills Course, Part 9 of 28. Advanced Level. Be sure to watch the introductory video to learn how to use synchronized reading. See the link in the description. And a quick reminder, continually improve your English. Click the subscribe button, the bell icon, and then all. So, let's begin the reading. Suggestions for the introduction, body, and conclusion. Here are some key presentation skills involving the three component parts of any speech, the introduction, body, and conclusion. Introduction. Take a moment to stand before the audience, take a deep breath, and look around you. Don't start speaking the second you arrive at the speaker's stand. That initial pause can make you appear poised, relaxed, confident, and in control. It can also help suppress initial nervousness. Deliver the first couple of sentences with an increase in power and volume. You want to grab the attention of the audience right away. A commanding voice is needed to do that, not a soft apologetic tone. Avoid an introduction that goes on and on. You don't want to speak so long that the audience wonders when you are going to really get to the meat of your presentation. The introduction is the funnel, which directs attention to the body of the talk. Make it brief. Body. The body of your presentation contains your main points, why you are taking time to speak in the first place, and why people have made the effort to be present and listen to you. So be sure what you say has weight and is meaningful. This can only be done through thorough research and good preparation. Even when speaking on a subject familiar to your audience, in the preparation stage, always be on the lookout for an unusual angle, extraordinary facts, or a story or anecdote that gets the audience to view a familiar subject in a different way. Make sure the main points of your presentation stand out by discreet repetition. You don't want to sound like a dripping tap, but carefully planned reviews can really sink the main thoughts into the mind of the audience. A progressive summary is an excellent tool to that end. A. At the outset, mention your main points, for example, 1, 2, and 3. B. After point 1, repeat it, and then say, Now for point 2. C. After point 2, you recap points 1 and 2, and introduce point 3. D. After point number 3, again review points 1, 2, and now 3. This kind of progressive review makes sure your audience leaves with the main points firmly etched in their minds. Conclusion Don't leave this part of your presentation as an afterthought. Prepare the wording carefully, especially the last sentence, as it will be the part the audience hear last and are likely to remember. Also, think about what you want to accomplish in your conclusion. Do you want your audience to take action? Then spell out clearly what needs to be done. Do you want to touch the hearts of your audience? Then weave some emotion into your last few sentences. Once you have identified your goal, you can create a motivating conclusion that will leave your audience very responsive. These are just a handful of presentation skills that can greatly enhance your presentations. Make sure you clearly understand the three component parts of any speech, the introduction, body, and conclusion. Then work to accomplish a specific goal with each one. Pay attention to good thought content and also your manner of presentation. It helps to get a partner to offer an honest appraisal 
or play back a video of your presentation and do a self-analysis. By constantly searching out suggestions and taking on board the ones that particularly apply to you, you can have the great satisfaction that comes from making a meaningful presentation the audience will appreciate and remember. Next, how to make your presentation easy to listen to. Well, that concludes the reading. Be sure to check the resources in the description below. And when you're ready, go to the next video in the Presentation Skills series. Has this video helped you? Then like, share or comment now and build a powerful English vocabulary with my free course on Udemy. Go to goodenglish.online.